Tom Hanks has announced on Instagram that he and his wife Rita Wilson have both tested positive for coronavirus. Why did Tom Hanks, of all people, have to get coronavirus? Friggin' Hanks. Welcome back to Inform Overload. We tell you about what's trending on the internet. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and let me just say, it was just a matter of time before a celebrity got coronavirus. Maybe y'all take seriously now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna go pick up about three packages of toilet paper and all the non-perishable food items my cupboards will hold. You know, just in case. Let me know in the comments how coronavirus has affected your school or workplace, but right now let's talk about Tom Hanks. Hanks was working on the Gold Coast of Australia on a film about Elvis Presley, and Rita was performing at the Sydney Opera House. Shortly after coronavirus was declared a pandemic, Tom Hanks posted this photo of a biohazard bag and rubber glove to Instagram. In typical Tom Hanks style, but with a coronavirus twist. For those that don't get the joke or follow Tom Hanks on social media, he posts photos of like lost items, socks, gloves. Seeing that rubber glove in a biohazard garbage bag honestly kind of brought tears to my eyes a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, the caption said this. Hello folks, Rita and I are down here in Australia. We felt a bit tired, like we had colds and some body aches. Rita had some chills that came and went. Slight fevers too. To play things right as is needed in the world right now, we were tested for the coronavirus and were found to be positive. Well now, what to do next? The medical officials have protocols that must be followed. We Hanks will be tested, observed and isolated for as long as public health and safety requires. Not much more to it than a one day at a time approach, no? We will keep the world posted and updated. Take care of yourselves, Hanks. Hanks. The Instagram post is filled with hundreds of thousands of sweet messages and well wishes for the Hanks and his wife. According to his eldest son Chet, who had just spoken with them on the phone, they are in good spirits and are both fine. They are quote, not even that sick. Tom Hanks and his wife are also receiving excellent care. It is safe to say that the filming of the Elvis Presley film that is highly anticipated will likely be postponed. All the people who are on the set of the film have gone home and are self quarantined according to Gold Coast Mayor Tom Tate. So to wrap up this video, I'm gonna give you a general update on the entire situation. I just feel like news is coming out so fast and updates are changing from day to day, even hour to hour. There's new stuff coming out, new bands, new... Oh God, who's gonna be next? I'm scared, I'm really scared. All right, so here we go. The World Health Organization has classified the coronavirus outbreak as a pandemic, acknowledging that it will probably spread to all countries around the world. President Donald Trump has banned travel from 26 European countries for 30 days in an effort to stop the spread of coronavirus. Americans can still travel to Europe. The ban excludes Ireland and the UK. The entire country of Italy is in quarantine and healthcare professionals are struggling. An Italian coronavirus nurse posted a photo of her bruised face from wearing a mask to show how difficult the situation is there. NBA player Rudy Rudy Gobert tested positive for coronavirus just days after joking about making others sick by touching a bunch of microphones during a press conference. It's always the people that joke about coronavirus that are gonna get it. Wait. It's the people that aren't taking it seriously, that aren't like washing their hands and taking precautions and just like licking handrails like it's fine. Stop it! Stop licking handrails! And wash your damn hands, please! Vikings Cruises and Princess Cruises have suspended operations worldwide. Coachella has been postponed to October and California has banned gatherings of 250 or more. The NBA has also postponed its season until further notice. Small gatherings in California should only happen if people stand six feet apart. As of Wednesday, March 11th, 118,000 people have contracted COVID-19. Nearly 4,300 people have died worldwide. And a little bit of hope to finish up this video, coronavirus is not a death sentence. According to the John Hopkins Center for Systems Science and Engineering, as of March 5th, 2020, out of 96,988 cases worldwide at that time, 53,638 had recovered. That's all I have for you on this. Subscribe for all the latest updates and I'll see you in a future IO video.